Okay guys, uh, welcome back again to the channel. As you can see from the title of the video and the thumbnail, today I'm going to show you how you can fix your uh, Forza Motorsport game crash uh, and stuttering if you are having the same problem on a PC. And I say this because um, obviously if you are a PC user and you have uh, an Xbox Game Pass uh, for PC, obviously you know, uh, you may already know that now uh, for a couple of days now, the Forza Motorsport 7 game is for free to get uh, if you have a subscription, obviously. So uh, as soon as I found this out, I immediately downloaded the game and went into the game. But unfortunately, I um, ran into a very big issue with the game, mainly for the game crashes where uh, after a while the game crashed immediately to the desktop and then uh, after I found uh, somehow a fix for the crashes then the, I, uh, uh, I found out that while playing uh, the game stutters very much and while we are, we are here let me jump back into the game and maybe show you the stutters that you can also get into the game hopefully yeah hopefully you can see them on uh, the video but uh, it also depends on the tracks that you play some tracks have uh, less stutters some tracks like this one have some really big stutters somewhere it depends uh, when you are uh, where you are on the track but uh, basically the uh, the image uh, of uh, the video just stops for a second or sometimes less sometimes a little bit more and it is really frustrating uh, when it stops uh, and goes and obviously if you are in, in a competitive racing that's uh, really bad to have the, all those kind of stutters so uh, yeah that was uh, really really bad but um, what uh, became more frustrating was uh, uh, was the crashing of the game because after I set my settings for the game uh, the graphical settings I mean because my system is uh, totally capable to play this game at 4k with uh, most of the settings at high, then the game uh, kept on crashing constantly. Uh, when I uh, tried to get into a track, sometimes even without getting into a track, and with the uh, various methods that I found over the internet to fix this problem, uh, it seems that none of them works. So uh, basically, I spent like um, at least uh, like four to five hours without uh, uh, being able to find a solution. But then, after a couple of hours of uh, resting from that frustration to fix uh, this problem, uh, I remember to myself. I remember that um, I read something over the forums. The I remembered a couple of times when some people uh, mentioned the memory leak problems but about this problem there was no solution and how you can fix that so I thought to myself since this uh, uh, memory leak prob problem uh, if you remember back uh, with the Nvidia uh, 9 series cards we had a memory leak problem where basically uh, the GPUs um, are sold for 4 gigabytes but uh, uh, then later people found out that uh, the available memory is 3.5 gigabyte and 500 megabytes was were I don't know not accessible something like that and um, yeah basically I think that what uh, the memory memory leak problem is so I decided to dig a little bit further and let me show you a little bit the stats in here as you can see uh, my GPU is a 2070 super and the VRAM usage right now is uh, 3000 and 900 megabytes or almost four, uh, 4 gigabytes of memory usage but my GPU has 8 gigabytes so it can run the game at 4k 2k with uh, everything maxed out and um, uh, the VRAM uh, I think it goes somewhere around 5 to 6 gigabytes depending on the track and how long you play with the game uh, but yeah technically what I did uh, to try and fix this memory leak problem because when I was having the crashing uh, the memory uh, usage went to 4.5 uh, let's say over 4 gigabytes uh, of memory and then it crashed so basically I thought to myself why not crank a little bit down the settings and see what happens so what I did first thing obviously I went uh, into um, uh, into the apps and uh, feature uh, to reset the, the game of uh, the game settings first so if any one of you does not how to do that you can go here type apps and features 
go in here and there here uh, here find the Forza Motorsport game you click on it go to advanced and in here you have a reset option but obviously the game uh, must be closed for this so uh, you you need to close the game and then you can reset the option and after you open the game uh, everything uh, all the settings of the game of the game will be uh, will be on a default and with that after this let me just get rid of this if you go to the option <clears throat> go to the video I set my resolution to 1080p and then I set all other, thing, uh, other things uh, to recommend it or default settings like they were. If you go to advanced, they are all at um, default settings and I changed only the car model quality to ultra and uh, the, uh, the resolution scale to 100% so it wouldn't go more than what the, the basic resolution is. And after I enter the game, uh, if uh, we go to the settings, well, now I am at 2K with those two settings changed, but with all default, the memory usage for my video card was around uh, 3.5 to 3.6 um, uh, gigabytes or th 3,500 uh, megabytes of uh, VRAM usage. And I began playing and strangely enough, I was I was able to get into the game with no crash to desktop. I was able to play uh, um, to play a longer session with no crash uh, at all. And then I began cranking the resolution, got to uh, 2K. And as you see, the VRAM is still under four gigabytes of memory uh, of VRAM usage. So basically, uh, at least for me, this works and it is working still. If the VRAM usage is under 4 gigabytes or 4000 megabytes, then my game doesn't crash. If it goes over 4 gigabytes, 4.2, 4.3, even uh, higher, if we set, if I set obviously higher settings, then the game crashes to desktop. So basically, this was uh, the solution for me about uh, at least about. Uh, the the crashes of the game when it crashed itself and went immediately to the desktop with no warnings uh, and uh, anything else so if you are having this problem you might need uh, uh, you might need to uh, to work this out and as you see the unfortunately this game the longer you play it will lead up your uh, your ram also um, for now i am at 10.5 uh, gigabytes of memory used of my system memory not the vram used so you know so you also need to keep in mind that if you have a pc with 8 gigabyte of uh, of ram that you need to consider uh, going even lower on the settings because yeah the usage of the memory it's uh, really high so yeah there you have it basically i was able to fix uh, my crashing uh, my crashing problem with this uh, uh, with this method that I just uh, told you and you might uh, you might want to try this hopefully it works for you I don't know if it's going to be certain uh, for you and it will fix your problem but uh, anyway I decided to to share this with you because um, I did something else uh, last night I was able to stream the game with OBS running with MSI afterburner running with VLC running the antivirus running uh, and also, and I was able to stream more than two hours into my channel with this game with no crashes at all. But obviously, the stuttery, um, the stutter problem was there, uh, and yeah, in some cases, it's really annoying and can mess up even your uh, your playing and maybe can uh, can make you crash because the, the stuttering can be so bad. So. Uh, you need to keep this in mind, but at least uh, as long as the crashing problem to the desktop so the game um, doesn't crash at all, uh, at least this method fixed uh, my problem. So you might go ahead and try this. And I said about those application opens because I sent a ticket to the Forza, uh, to the Forza Motorsport uh, support and they um, answered me back by saying that the game can crash uh, by having MSI Afterburner open or by having OBS, your antivirus and a bunch of other applications that may conflict with the game so you might consider closing them up but as I told you I was able to play with all those applications open uh, and um, obviously live streaming into my channel that the game ran just fine so I basically think that uh, I am 90% sure obviously not 100% sure 
I am 90% sure that the problem for the crash is mainly is uh, related to the memory leak problem where basically if you have uh, too much of usage of uh, uh, for your VRAM that might cause your game to crash so you need definitely to uh, to crank down most of the settings so uh, yeah I would suggest again go for the lowest settings that you have and then uh, and then from there go up one at a time to see uh, how much you can crank up your settings and uh, being able to play without uh, any crashes and with the highest settings uh, possible. As long as the stuttering goes, after a little bit of digging, uh, I found uh, on the forum some uh, some guy that uh, suggested to play a little bit with the CPU affinity. So this, what CPU affinity is basically, so let me jump back into the desktop you go to the task manager you go to the details here and on the details you find Forza Motorsport EXE in here and you right click on it and you had set affinity you click on this one and in here you have all uh, all the this uh, the CPU cores uh, that this game is using right now my CPU is a um, uh, is a uh, six core uh, CPU uh, obviously with six threads and you have in total uh, 12 threads uh, that uh, this game is using what you can try is you can try and disable those usually the first um, uh, if you have an eight core or a four core CPU uh, if you have a four core CPU uh, and four threads uh, there will be uh, only uh, only seven CPUs in here beginning from zero so I have a six core with six threads, so I have 12 uh, threads in here. Uh, what seemed to work for me best is to disable all the threads and keep only the real cores or the physical cores working. And what it worked for me for the stuttering, it will not go away 100%, but it may help you, is to use only CPU 0, 1, 2, 3, sometimes for uh, may work sometimes without four it works a little bit better so you need to go whenever you, uh, the downside of this method is that you need to play with these cores by selecting and seeing if it works and then trying again uh, it will crash and then you will keep to try it again and after at least an hour of trying i found out that using cpu 0 1 2 and 3 of the combination of this one or disabling cpu 0 and enabling cpu 4 it make the it makes the stuttering way better than uh, it was before so you can definitely try this method also but the downside is that uh, whenever you go into the game you need to get to the task manager and set the uh, the uh, the processor affinity to the uh, to the best um, uh, to the best combination that you might get with your uh, CPU so that's a bummer by doing it every time you open a, a game so yeah you need to try because again these are not certain uh, methods that uh, will work for you and for your system uh, but yeah they work for me so hopefully it will uh, they will work for you too and that's why I decided to share this because uh, as I mentioned at the beginning this game has just been released for the uh, PC Xbox Game Pass so many many people might have downloaded uh, this game for PC and are, are trying to play right now but unfortunately they are having problems so uh, yeah that's why I decided to share this uh, hopefully it will work for you I am still waiting an answer from the support uh, of the Forza Motorsport uh, support center for maybe a definitive solution because I told them that um, I found this kind of solution with the memory leak problem where I need to keep my uh, memory VRAM memory usage under 4k uh, uh, 4 gigabytes uh, to be able to get the game not to crash at least but the stuttering uh, unfortunately is still uh, uh, it's still here but it becomes uh, it becomes playable once you uh, once you find the right uh, solution for the core affinity or maybe if you play long enough maybe the system will learn about the game I don't know I have no clue but yeah again hopefully uh, this solution works for you guys anyway if you have any other question uh, or if you didn't understand what I just said uh, in this video but I'm guessing it's really easy to understand that uh, it's I don't think it's uh, that uh, difficult so yeah there you have it guys thank you very much um, for uh, 
being here still because I usually make the videos too long sorry about that so I thank you very much if you are still uh, here watching the video and really hope uh, this um, uh, this method works for you so yeah that uh, that is going to be it uh, for today thank you very, very much for watching guys don't forget to leave a like if you haven't already also make a comment that will help me rank a little bit higher in the YouTube algorithm and yeah make sure to subscribe if you haven't already also turn on notifications so I never miss one of my live streams or maybe these kind of videos that I do usually uh, by sharing with you tips and tricks uh, to uh, to be able to play a little bit better with the games uh, and yeah stay safe out there have a good day or a good night depending on where you are and as usual i will catch you guys on the next one bye bye